story tonight, and North Korea might be as well. I mean, it looks like they're taunting us now. If you look at these latest comments that have come in, uh, one of the North Korean officials actually said the nuclear tests that they said they conducted uh, could wipe out the U.S. Wipe out the U.S. So we bring in re retired Admiral Joe Sestak, former congressman, on, um, on that. What should our response be to that kind of talk? Well, look, I, I ignore that specific type of talk, but am I concerned? Yes, I am. They have 15 to 20 nuclear bombs today. They're mm -hmm. trying to mate it to a intercontinental ballistic missile. But the real challenge is this. They sold a nuclear reactor to Syria, as you know, Connell. Yeah. Some de the concern is you have ISIS. Maybe he's got $400 million in cash. They are extremely, they, North Korea, poor country. What if all of a sudden they're selling some of this fizzle material to them? Number two, I'll tell you who's under the gun, South Korea and Japan. What if they then begin to get their nuclear weapons? We, for far too long, and too many administrations have not focused properly on resolving this issue. Yeah, it seems like we talk more about the topic that Peter Barnes and I were just talking about, which is Iran, which is fine and is serious, but at the same time, what should, and maybe this is a question one of the candidates will get tonight, what should the next right. president do differently, specifically about North Korea? Yeah, I think they have to treat North Korea as it is, not as we wish it was. 15 nuclear bombs. The next step has to be this. We have to stop having a precondition of talking via, with China and with North Korea by saying, look, a precondition no longer is you've got to make a pledge to denuclearize, denuclearize yourself. That's the present position we have. That's wrong. What we have to say is three things we have to have. No more weapons, mm -hmm. no better weapons, and as someone else said, no transfer of any nuclear material or technology to others. And with China, which now for the first time might really be getting antsy as it implodes itself economically, has to be able to be the one that hasn't properly enforced sanctions and it gives it fuel and food to right. give them some real benefits if they will just stop where well, they are. That's the first step. Well, it's interesting because I was going to ask how do we enforce that given that there's so many sanctions on, yeah. I guess, North Korea already and they are, to your earlier point, already a poor country. So is it that we have to work through the Chinese? You, we've got to. Look, yeah. it's sort of like when we worked with Iran, and you know this, Connell. If it hadn't been for Russia and China applying sanctions, those sanctions wouldn't have brought them to the table to negotiate at all the Iranian accord. If China doesn't start denying putting the sanctions that are already in place, we don't have a choice, really. That has to be brought to the table. And that is where they also have to say, okay, we're willing to talk. The talk is going to have some positive economic sanction uh, removal, but it is going to have to be stop where you are in place. That's the only next step. And I'm most concerned, Connell, in today's world about some of that fizzle material being sold for economic reasons and right. they've done it before Tysis, i've actually right. had one of my ships track one of those one of those uh container ships from north korea bringing stuff to iran we were suspecting of hmm. and that uh, obviously and especially with concern that you brought up is, uh, is a big issue, to say the least. And, and, and Connell, if no, I could. Ahead, what's up? Yeah, one last thing. You know, well, you said something important, I think, is that I hope tonight's debate will actually get into some, not just rhetoric, but start laying out how you're going to deal with some of these very tough, complex issues there. We need to hear that from somebody who wants to be a leader of our nation in both sides, both parties. It will. I'm, no, I think it will. I mean, it's what we, uh, to be serious, that's what Neil um, and Maria, that's, I, they did a good job last time around, and, and I, th I think that's I, a, that you'll see that tonight. I bet you will, as a matter of fact. I so. just said that to the person who hooked me up. I think you're going to have the people asking questions drive them into policy details. Okay, yeah. I've got the rhetoric. Tell me now what to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah let me get some specifics. Uh, yep, we'll see that. I, I guarantee it, as a matter of fact. Joe Sestak, thank you. Uh, former Admiral, former Congressman from Pennsylvania.